Hey everyone, it's Rise, and welcome back to Let's Play Odin Sphere. Well, let's continue reading the Puka Prince. Hopefully, this time I won't unplug the uh, the dazzle. That would enormously piss me off. Thankfully, it was just a cutscene that I could easily just edit in there. Okay. Now, what were we doing? We were going to the boss, right? Yeah. I forget the bees. So, yeah, let's head over to the boss and uh, go from there, I guess. I don't think this will affect anything, but I do have new uh, composite cables, complete with a, an actual component cable on it for my PS2. I used to so I don't, have to, don't have to switch to uh, wires anymore. At least connections, and wires for my PS2 into my PS2. Just use the same one and just switch the the one around from component to ah, composite. So that should make late. things a little bit easier. And oh, oh there's a. I almost spoiled the, the character's name, but... Are you <laughs> saying that you knew I was going to return to Titania? Well, yeah. You must be the one who turned me into this. Did he? What is it that you want? I cannot simply tell you. Oh. My sword and mind are sharp. I will force you to tell me. We're gonna kick his ass. Can you do that now? What? Velvet? It's me, Prince. Velvet. What's wrong? Your beloved is right here. That's a little weird. Why not recite a poem to me? Should I rock you to sleep? So, Princess, Velvet is the one that happening? cursed him? I suppose being madly in love clouds one's judgment. Well, that's not good. But when you awaken, you realize that life is cruel. No, tis a lie! You aren't her! Oh. Privileged and naive morons like yourself make me furious. Aren't you a princess? You should be killed. Wouldn't that make you While privileged? You are still blinded by love. Shut up! You cannot be her. Yes, violence is the answer. I forgot the question. Oh yeah, it's Velvet's imposter. <laughs> nice spoiler game. Unfortunately, even though the boss is named differently, it fights just like Velvet did, so... Yeah, there's nothing different about this fight either. Uh-oh. So basically, it's just a matter of... You know, using a painkiller. And, uh, Minjo will use an unlimited pal. Uh oh. Yeah, you gotta watch out for her napalm there. Fortunately, her napalm doesn't uh, go as far as yours does, which is kind of odd. But yeah, I mean, Velvet's not that bad because she likes to fight in the air. And that's really bad for her. Also, her attacks aren't that strong, which is actually something you'll notice about Velvet just in general. Um, uh, that's not good deal. Just use your, just abuse your area combos, and uh, I wouldn't even worry about taking damage. Especially if you got heal tonic. Uh, we're gonna dodge that. And uh, now that she's done most of the attack, there we can get her while she's stunned. Oh, she's actually stunned again. Her attacks won't even stun you, so it's not really that bad. I mean, yeah, you'll take some damage, but you should be able to get out before dying. Unless you jump into that, which is a problem. Yeah, I mean, that's obviously not something I wanted to do. <laughs> Just uh, focus on avoiding her potions. I wouldn't worry about... Okay, well, I would have dodged that. In fact, that's probably the best time to hit her. Alright, it's going away. Once that attack finishes and starts going away, that's when you want to attack her. She stuns quite easily, which is 
interesting. Not my best run on her, but better than I did with Gwendolyn, that's for sure. There we go. Simple enough, really. Probably one of the easier bosses in the game. Not as easy as Levent then, but pretty damn easy. Oh, it's not Velvet. Terrible sword. <clears throat> Who are you? You're obviously not Velvet. Yeah. Who is he? I am Ingwe. Oh, this guy's uh. I am Velvet's twin brother. Ah, so that's how he knows Velvet. A brother. Looks like he doesn't approve yes. of them, huh? I suppose I can see Our Cornelius there. Why did you curse me? Should be pretty obvious. Why was I in the Netherworld? Answer me. The Netherworld. Oh, he doesn't I know about that. about that. But yes, huh. it was I who cast the Puka's curse on you. How could I give my yeah. darling... Yeah, if he didn't figure it out, he doesn't approve of their relationship. There's no way to resume your human shape. Forget about Velvet. You two cannot be together. You. Damn. Kill me if you wish. But only if you can hold her with arms covered in her brother's blood. Uh, that's pretty, uh, badass, actually. Well, not badass, but pretty, pretty Velvet bad. <laughs> what will you do, Cornelius? Couldn't even think of the way I wanted to say that. <laughs> Are you pretty conniving, I guess. Like this? Oh, Come on, Cornelius. She'll still love you. I won't forget this, Ingway. She'll be able to pet your ears this time. Or not. <gasps> oh. Ingway! What happened? You're hurt. Where's her chain? It's nothing. Worry not. What are you doing hiding from me? She's he's not really hiding, he's in the uh, open there. Anyway. Look who's talking. You've been meeting with that oaf in secret. He is no oaf. Cornelius is a gentleman. A gentleman rabbit? He hasn't come to see you lately, has he? Forget him. He's just another man. I'm sure he has a reason. Yeah, like uh, your evil brother turning him into a bunny. Alright, sounds good. Get my chain. So, Ingwe had her chain. Please don't he really did have her chain, asking. I guess. I don't think you should be flailing it around. Just learn to live peacefully and quietly. You know very well that we will never live in peace. I have certain obligations. To what? That's that's weird. Well, Velvet will learn more about it in her own story. But yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here. Quite a short one, but that's okay. And uh, yeah, this is Ryzen signing off. Thanks for watching.